In this video, we're going to be installing a Tusk Sub-Zero snowplow mount onto a Polaris Sportsman 570. Once you've completed the install of your plow mount, you can refer to our Tusk Sub-Zero snowplow assembly and installation video for instructions on assembling and attaching your plow blade. You can see that we've got our machine standing on end, and this is to better show the installation process. Raising or standing your machine up isn't necessary for the install, but if you decide to, make sure that you safely support it to prevent causing any injuries or damage to yourself or the machine. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure all the hardware and pieces are accounted for. You'll find a complete list of hardware located on your provided set of instructions. Now we're ready to begin installation. So the first step of the install is to loosen the four footwell bolts on the left side of the machine. And this is the left side as if you were sitting on the seat of the machine. There are four of these bolts that we need to loosen and we're only gonna loosen them about halfway. Doing that is gonna allow us to slide the provided threaded bar clamp into place over the footwell supports. You'll want to install this starting from the front of the machine working towards the back and you'll need to push the footwell upwards to create enough clearance for the bar clamp to slide into place. Moving over to the right side of the machine, the two provided flat clamps will sit in place over the footwell supports as you see in the video. Now's a good time to get someone to help hold the plow mount up into place while you install the hardware. For the left side, we'll use the four provided M8 by 70 millimeter bolts and four flat washers to attach the plow mount to the bar clamp. These are the four longer bolts in your provided hardware kit. For the right side of the machine, you'll have to position each flat clamp into place over the support bar while you start an M8 by 65 millimeter bolt with washer through each one of the mounting holes on the right side. We're just going to leave all this hardware loose for now until we've got it all in place. You might notice that you have a few extra bolts and pieces in your hardware kit, and that's because this hardware kit works for attaching a plow mount onto a few different machines. The spacer blocks that are included in your hardware kit are provided to fill the gap that you'll sometimes have between the plow mount and the footwell supports on the left side of the machine. The spacer blocks would just slide into place before you tighten the bolts down. But again, this hardware kit is made to work with multiple Polaris machines, and for the 570, we won't be using these spacer blocks. The plow mount on this machine is just going to snug right up against the footboard supports. So now we can go back through and tighten down all the plow mount hardware. You'll want to make sure that the plow mount is sitting straight on the frame rails, and then go ahead and tighten down all eight bolts securing the plow mount into place. After we have all those tightened down, we can go back through and snug down the four footwell bolts as well, and then we're done with the install. You can now refer to our Tusk Sub-Zero snowplow assembly and installation video to finish the install of your snowplow system. Be sure to visit our website www.rockymountainatvmc.com for your snowplow accessories and all the other parts and apparel that you need to be ready for winter. Thanks for watching.